the visual problem for UML, the smart development environment, the database visual architect, all of them support generate the DTL statement for your for your database design. You can generate the DTL from your ELD. And for the for the uh, Bordeaux edition or the standard edition of the VPUML or the smart development environment, you can generate the the DTL directly from the diagram. Before we generate the DTL, you first have to specify the default database. You can go to the tools, object relational mapping, and then database configurations, and then pick the database which you want to want to use. For example, we use the MySQL in here and we press ok we can we can leave the configuration details uh, as blank for the moment so now let's say i want to generate the dtl for the inspector uh, entity you can just right click and then you select the generate sql and this will generate the dtl statement for the for the create table for the drop table and if you have modified the existing data from for the existing database. You can also generate the author statement, but this will uh, connect to the existing database and require the connection settings. We can ignore it for the moment. So you can see now we create a in the create table table statement in here, and you can also drop the date table in. If you want to select a multiple generate DDL for multiple items, you can just select them all and then you right click and generate SQL again now this time we will generate uh, not just the, the create sta statement for the table but also adding the index because now you are generating multiple tables and they are related to each other having relationships so we will also generate uh, the index the things all the things will, will be generated so this is the most uh, basic way for you to generate uh, DDL and if you are using the professional edition or, or the enterprise edition of VPML or SD or the all editions of the database based architect, you can also go to the tools, object relational mapping, and then generate database to generate a DTL statement. Okay, now you will see is we selected as database only, and by default we will select the generate DTL in here and you can also generate the, just the database you can generate the update uh, which is a patch to modifications you can generate the script as drop and create or just drop the database so let's create as uh, this one like this the create database <laughs> okay we press ok to proceed Let me open it up, and now here's the DDL script, which is a DDL file on the output location we specified. And if you, you can, we can also help you to execute the script directly to the database. And let me try to specify the connections. Okay, maybe I can go to the MySQL and say here's the MySQL. I create a new database. So you can see the demo one is a new database I just created, and there's no tables in there. And let's try to use the localhost, and the port should be three three zero six default port. Yes, and database name is uh, demo one, and we use the user root just for testing, and leave the passwords as blank. Note that you may need to you specify the driver file, the JDBC driver, which used to connect to the MySQL. And if you don't have a um, specific driver file, you can just press this uh, down arrow button and let us download the file, the driver for you. Okay, we test the connection. Okay, connection successful, and we press the OK. And this time we generate the database again. And we also select the export to, to database checkbox. Select this and press OK. Okay, now we go back to the MySQL. We show the tables again. And now you can see the tables are created in the in the database. So 
you can to generate a DTL script you can just right click and then select generate SQL or you go to the tools object relational mapping and then you select the generate database